So how does it feel being responsible for making the nation cry so often? Gosh, I, 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 I'm still finding it quite odd that the movie has turned out as emotional as it has turned out because I'm used to trying to make people um, laugh. But maybe as you get older, you get a little bit sadder and notice there are sadder things around. So I apologize if I'm causing any mascara problems. It was more touching than sad. It was just like, oh, yes, that's so true. Well, I, 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 you know, what, what this film has tried to do is like catch up with my own life. I've written a lot of movies about people just falling in love and assuming things will go well after the wedding day. And this film's a bit about how complicated life gets as you get a little bit older. And when you marry someone, that's going to lead to children and then your parents are going to die on you. It's actually funny you say that. Rachel McAdams just said that you live your life like your films. Do you know... One of the things we tried to do on this film, because it was a film about family, was try and create a family atmosphere. And what was so fantastic about the cast and about having Bill there, who is in a way a member of my family already, and then having Donal, who's a real family guy, and then having Rachel there, who's such a sweet person, is that we did manage to create something that felt like a family, so that we did all feel as though we were living out the, the good side of things. Actually, with that cast, it's quite it's a cast for personalities, isn't it? Is there anything you can tell us about them that might maybe surprise us? Um, Donal is very, very, very bad at acting um, when he's hot. <laughs> That's the only thing I could tell you. There are lots of scenes set on the beach, and the idea was meant to be that these were people who went onto the beach even when the weather was bad. Unfortunately, on the day we went, the weather was 90 degrees, but they had to be wearing hot winter coats and everything like that. So uh, don't cast Donal in Lawrence of Arabia. Um, as far as Rachel is concerned, she's perfect in every way, so I can't tell you anything bad about her. Did you just think likeable, hot lead role, time travel film has to be Rachel McAdams? I don't know. Do you know? I, 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 I hadn't really thought through the fact that she's a bit of a that Rachel's a bit of a time travel veteran. Um, and uh, I, I promise, if I ever do write another time travel movie, uh, that she will be the time traveller. That's the oath that I make. And finally, if you could go back and give one piece of advice to yourself, aged 18, what would you say to yourself? I think I would, the advice I would offer myself would be don't get changed for parties. Because I was so unsuccessful romantically when I was young, and I think it was because I would always like try and put on an attractive purple shirt and a lovely sort of crisp jacket and a nice belt, and all the people who slept with the girls were the guys who just turned up in jeans and a t-shirt. So, I think that would be that would be what I'd do. Keep it casual, kids. Yeah, keep it casual. You never, you might get yeah. lucky. <laughs> yeah, and maybe dye my hair black. <laughs> maybe that'd help. It's been a pleasure chatting to you. Thank you so much. No.